Hello and uh, welcome to another gameplay video. Uh, tonight I'll be playing the uh, Bethesda game Terminator Future Shock. Uh, this game came out around September of 1995. Um, I, I absolutely adore this game. I thought it was such a fantastic game. It does actually predate um, Quake by over half a year uh, for using um, 3D models for its first person shooter game. It's not the first um, game that predates Quake in regards to using uh, 3D models as opposed to sprites. I know Descent uh, from Interplay also did the same as well. Um, but this game it, it used um, it doesn't count technically as a fully 3D game because although it uses um, uh, polygons for the uh, uh, main environment and the models of the enemy, um, it still uses sprites for sort of like decorations and items you pick up and so on. So um, Quake still kind of has that. But this game I just thought was fantastic. Um, it wasn't perfect. There were bugs in the game. Sometimes you'd get stuck. Uh, sometimes sounds wouldn't play just when you expected them to. And um, It wasn't a hundred percent there but as far as atmospherics go um, and for the actual sort of level design, I thought it was fantastic. Um, you could go into pretty much any building that had a door. Um, it, was, it, it was good atmosphere, sound design. Um, yeah, a great game altogether. So without further ado, I'm going to just maybe do a level or two of this game and, um, and just talk while we play. So here we go then. Uh, so let's go with a new game. Now I'm playing this on... Uh, uh, DOS box um, on my Windows PC. It uh, it works pretty well. Gotta love the compression on that video. Look at that compression! Oh my god! You can definitely tell 1995 level quality there. Ooh. So much artifact in the noise. Okay, so here we go then. My name is. Here we go. Mission objectives: get to the Tiki Grand Hotel. Uh, get to the office building behind the hotel. Use the resistance car to escape. Okay, we'll just go to briefing here. And have a look. Okay, listen, I'm hurt too bad to move. I'm dying. I can feel it. You've got to, you've got to save yourself. There's nothing you can do for me. I have a car parked a little ways off from here. Just a few B, B blocks? Oh, a few, <laughs> a few b blocks away. You could use it to, to get to the Resistance HQ. To get to it, just skirt around the d death camp and then head north through the rubble. He's parked in front of the office building behind the Tiki Grand Hotel. You'll need to to go through the hotel to get to the office. You'll see t to take my g gun. I won't be needing it. I'm as good as dead. Save yourself. Help save humanity. you got got to find John Connor. Join the resistance to tell them Sergeant Roberts sent you. He had a lot to say for someone who was dying. I mean, I'd be literally going, I'm done. Dead. Anyway, so, uh, okay, so I've got to get to the Grand Tiki Hotel, go into it, and get to the roof and round the back to a car. Okay. Uh, looking at the tactical here. So here we go. Here's the 3D models. Hunter Killer Fighter. Uh, Hunter Killer Scout. Uh, drone. Spider Bot. Ooh. The most prevalent is the Raptor. The Seeker. <laughs> it looks massive there. It's actually the smallest and not dumbest thing there. And um, trucks. don't know why it's showing you trucks, but there we go. Right, okay, let's get cracking them. So, as you can see here, 3D modelled environment, um, but the surrounding is sprites. So, although it predates Quake by about six months or so, it's not a hundred percent three D like Quake was, so. But design wise, as I say, absolutely fantastic. Although I've got to admit, the, the fact that the gun is static there, it just move, but the gun doesn't actually move. Um, it's a bit, a bit poor. There we go. 
But look at the design now. I think it's a fantastic design. You really get a sense of apocalyptic sort of environment. Now, it's only about like, the building. So, for example, it's just a building. It's a nothing building. This building says no purpose. But you can actually still go inside them and have a little look around and see what's in here. I think, I think it's a great little design, you know? You can probably you can destroy a lot of the stuff that's here. I wonder if you can destroy that. Maybe. Can you destroy that? Maybe you can't. Okay. No, so I'm talking about like there we go. So it's a health pack there. Let's go out. So I know the Grand Tiki is roughly in that direction over there. Uh, when I play, I skirt around the side a little bit because I know there's some Molotov. Throw a Molotov. Whew. Because I know around here there's weaponry and so on. Oh, here we go. Come on, die. There we go. Ammo. It does go through a little bit like that, like the sprite of the, of the fire just rotates around with you. As long as you're not paying attention too much to that, then you don't really notice so much, but uh, it's clearly off putting when you do concentrate on it. Oh, hello. Oh, here we go. One of those. You need to bounce up and down, so it's a bit of a pain. Get out of it. Armor. Don't need health really. Let's just keep going. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. I can sneak up on you. On these. Music, music playing. Right in between me, he's, between, oh, he's, he's in front of the gun I want to get to. Okay. okay, so with this game here, um, like with many games, you use your number keys to change your weapons. But with this game, they do actually. Oh, no, he's shooting me now. Oh, here we go. Um, with this guy, game, it will group together the types of weapons. So, for example, like this is my pole. Which is totally useless. Um, then you can, this is your, so number two cycles between your guns and then and so on. So uh, sometimes it's worth remembering you, uh, you may have more than one gun in your group in there. They're pretty stupid when they're further far away there, so too bad for right armor. Okay, and. Uh, I want to go at the top there because I know there's some goodies. So the jump seems awfully slow. This is me jumping. Ready? Look. It's like you're jumping on the moon, one sixth gravity. Here we go. Lots of goodies here. Molotov and what have you, and a shotgun. But I don't want a shotgun right now. Let's go back to the. Here we go. The um the the map of this as well is pretty good. This is actually uh, again a 3D map, so you can. Look around like that. That's, that was pretty cool. It basically all it does is it just moves you further, um, like zoomed out from the map. Well, I thought that was pretty cool. That it does that. Right, maybe. Ah, oh, no. oh, it sneaked up here from nowhere. 
Get out of it. Oh, it's like he didn't shoot at me. It's one of those spider things. Die. Excuse me. Sneezed a bit there. Right, so this is a, like a, a death camp base thing. You can't get into it unless you destroy one of the generators, which is just there. So let's go to that. Now we've got some access. Oh, hello. Lovely. I've got a run button as well. I'll just speed things up a little bit. Now this is a lovely little like kind of like not so much a bug, it's just a limitation of the graphics engine. So if I look if I look in this direction, to my far left you can see a hunter killer just hovering there. Now it has detected you there, because technically you're not in its like kind of field of vision. If you rotate round, it kind of sort of like disappears a little bit, so you can kind of like see him come so for example, there you go. You see, like that just the draw distance limit but if you know it's there and you can just get it into a kind of sight you can shoot it and it won't you've got plenty of time to get to it we use that quite a lot oh, hello. any more any more there we go There. Right, well, so we've got another one there. Okay, I'm gonna come up here. Oh, now you see that there, for example, like I've got to jump onto this, but it's not 100%. There we go. Right, let's go up to the top here. Got a big health pack, don't really need it, never mind. That looks ominous. A classic bug in this game is you can't shoot straight down. So, if I look straight down and fire, I actually cause damage to myself. A bit weird, but there you go. Right, uh, let's keep going around. Oh, another spider thingy. Throw some molotovs. I don't think it's going to go too far away, but it might. And I saw another hunter killer off in the distance there, so I'm just going to get rid of that as well. Jumped a little bit there, now. As I said, got bugs. Right, let's destroy this. Oh, hello. Something's near me. Right, I'm pretty much cleared the area. Now, as I say, I should be able to go into some of these buildings. There we go. Enters an outpost. Oh. Maybe I need to go one of the others to the side. Let's go, so I'll go to one of the others. Let's go to this one here. Okay. Oh, great level to oh hello. Great level design. Hey, Molossos doing, doing their job there, there we go. I'm in here somewhere. Doing... Okay, oh, I don't know one. Lovely. I have no idea what just opened, but let me just look anyway. Oh yes, oh yes, there we go. Oh, okay, right. 
Um, anyway, let's, um, yeah. Um, how do you get back out? Are you sure how you, how you get back out again? <laughs> oh, well, I suppose I'll just keep going. What is the walkway? Close the doors to there. Yeah, I don't actually know how to get out. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. I heard something move when I did this. What if I go down? Open that up. So what happens if I drop down? Oh, I'm just back here again. Right, okay. That's no good. Hang a second. Is that another? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, hello. I must pay attention. Let's go down. Here we go. Oh, I see. Let's go on with this mission, shall we? All right. All right, I'm just going to go straight across this. All right, Grand Tiki, somewhere in this direction, I believe. Let's go around this crater. I don't know. Now if I'm able oh hello. They're little sods they are. Get out of it. Thank you. Oh. Now. What does that say? so low. Now, see, another thing about this game is you have radiation as well. You get too low, look at that. You get radiation. So sometimes you have to be a bit careful where you're going as well. Let's go around the edge here. Now, I'm pretty sure... Hello, is that a flying one? Who's shooting at me? Ah. That'd be you! Oh, another one. Hello. Got hidden in the building. Sneaky. Okay, get you from there. Oh, you moved. <laughs> Not great. 
great AI. Okay, that's that's the Grand Tiki. Tiki Grand, there we are. Right, let's just get rid of the things around me. Oh, I like one there. There we go. Right. Shotty. I'm going to switch to shotty. A bit more close to combat now. Right. Uh, here we go then. Shoot that door. Can I get through? I can get through. There we go. Right. Oh, cheeky. Doing better level design, I think. I think you know. For its time, I think it's still a pretty atmospheric game. I mean, yeah, the, the resolution I think is ridiculous, about three twenty by two forty or something like that. But that's good. Oh, shotty for close combat. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm just going to go up. No, there's going to be something around here. Whereabouts do you need? Right, it's one of these sides I've got to go. Ah, it must be the side. Here we go. Yeah, you see, now it's the thing that it's. Because I can't shoot straight down. It's annoying because you, you, you damage yourself trying to shoot them. Right, let's see if I can get this angle here. Let's see, look. Ah. Right, let's see. Such a, a pain, pain bug. I think it took both of them out there with one explosion, took the other one out. Okay. Okay. And uh, oh, here we go. I'm now in an office building.
die. Just not going down the stairs, then, okay. Whoa! Can you see it there? I need the shotty. Which way to go? Do I go? Okay. No, okay, so do I go to the stair while I was on? Am I going this door? I can't go in that door. Can I go further down on this side? Yes, I can. Yes, there is. Yeah, I get stuck by the sort of scenery. Right, there we go. Okay. Is that the way out? Ooh. First level done. Mission objective, find resistant headquarters. Okay, here we go. Connor here. Sorry to hear about Sergeant Roberts. He was a good soldier. We don't have time to mourn right now, though. We need to get you to HQ. Go west from your current position until you hit the highway. Follow under the highway north for a little while. And when it splits, head northwest. It will then turn west through the hills. Keep following it west. When you see some warehouse walls, pull off to your right. You'll find a police station next to the brewery and the warehouse. Just pull the car in the back with the others. And form you introduced when you get here, Star. The roads can get pretty choppy, so keep a steady hand in the wheel. We've got a laser canyon installed in the car, which draws juice from an onboard fusion plant. We've got from a downed hunter killer. So you won't run out of power to your weapon systems. Good luck and welcome to the resistance, Star Guy. Okay. Very important thing here is actually listen to the. You, to, where you need to go because it's it's specifically saying you've got to go west to hit highway then north then northwest then west right here we go so now i'm in a car okay nice i've got some missiles as well Right, so there's the highway. So now we'll go north. Now there's two ways you can play this. One way is like this, where you're very careful and you carefully shoot everything around you. So I'm shooting at me. So gun in place. So that's one way of doing it. Right, north from where you are. So I'm heading north right now, yes. The other way is to defloor it. <laughs> See how far you can get before they uh, before they get you. 
I'm going to floor it. Flooring it, flooring it, right. Uh, you say northwest. He's going west. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, Jesus. I think I should have gone faster there, haven't I? No brakes on this. Come on. Faster, 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 faster. There we go. this. Just keep heading west. Right after the warehouse. I don't know, if I hit the warehouse yet? I don't have yet. Oh god, they're surrounding me. Oh, hang on. I think the warehouse is near here. Okay, I think that's the warehouse. surrounded here. Get up a steep hill! Get up the hill! Thank you. Got no armour, about half my health. I should have taken my time, but I did, I did want to just get this level done quickly, right? So let's just take my time now. Find this police station. Just east of your position. Hey, police station. Nice. Guess this is where I go. Hey! There we go then. So, uh, there we go. That's my little playthrough there of uh, Terminator Future Shock. Um, a great game. Um, I think it is anyway. <laughs> Some people probably thought it was terrible. Did spawn a sequel called Skynet, um, where they did actually improve the quality of the graphics, but um, I just never felt the Skynet quite had the same feel as the uh, as the first game. Um, also, Skynet also started introducing the big fad at the time was um, full motion video of actors playing characters um, with some really really poor 
court. Hey, Major. We heard you had some trouble. Well, you know the score, Reese. We've got nothing but sunshine and palm trees here in L.A. Who could have any trouble? It was bad, Cat. It was a bloodbath. The bots ate us alive. Kachowski and Weaver? They didn't make it. All right, people. We've got a lot of work to do to keep the robots out of Sector 3. Jensen just left to take out the bridge heading east from Sector 7. That should slow them down. Parker, what's the status on today's recon? Got it right here, Connor. I've targeted three sites for more recon. Fine. Let's get the scouts out ASAP. Sir, has this individual been cleared by security? Yeah. The bots are starting to look more and more like us every day. Hey, couldn't he be one of the prototypes for a new model or something? Relax, Kyle. Our new soldier here checks out. I even had him run past one of the new canine units. I've decided to assign him as a field op to the command team. Major Catherine Parker, good to have you aboard. This is Dr. Hanover, our chief technician. You could call me Bill. And our young skeptic here is Kyle Reese, we think. Yeah, well, you can't be too careful around here. Anyways, welcome aboard. Now that we're all introduced, are you ready for some action? Yes, sir. Good. Parker, give him the details on one of those recon missions. Right. The bots have a new complex in Sector 4. Surveillance has shown convoys moving in and out of there over the last two days. We need more information. The bots have something important going on there. We need to know about it. Sounds straightforward enough. It should be. You'll take a jeep through the hills and park a short distance from the complex, which will be west of your position. You shouldn't hit heavy opposition until you're inside. Once in, conduct a standard search of the facility, then return to base. Well, anyway, that's uh, that's the game. I hope you enjoyed viewing this. Um, I'll play another game in the near future. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.